Hey guys, it's Pam's in the now again. I've had requests for background editing, and I will show you just a bit. This is Porcelain Black from Porcelain and the Tramps. I think that's how you say it. But I'm going to do a uh, basic editing first. So I go to the basic and I hit Exposure, Auto Adjust. Normally it's okay, but this one came up that I have two highlights that would look okay. And I hit Apply. Sometimes it doesn't work for all photos, just keep that in mind. Then I always go to the contrast, and I hit to about 10, just to make it pop a little. And if you ever need, there's the sharpen bar, um, the resize, colors, saturation, temperature, rotate, and crop. Um, I don't like that she has bags under her eyes, so I'm going to go to touch up just like your makeup bar, and I'm going to hit wrinkle remover. I d don't use this on your whole face or you're going to look fake and plastic. Now, here's the zoom. You want to zoom in, and it comes. It doesn't come up as good depending on your photo. You just slightly go into her eyes like that. Now, you take the zoom back out and see if it looks fine. I think it looks okay. So I hit apply. I don't see any blemishes on her face or anywhere else, so we don't have to do it anymore. Um, sometimes you want to bring out the colors of some things on her, like maybe you want to bring out her eyes. I always bring out the eyes in my pictures sometimes. So I go down to burst, or I always hit the tin effect, and I hit reverse, as you can see the difference. And then you move the brush size down because you don't want the whole thing. See, it didn't make much of a difference. So, most people do it to their hair. I think I'm going to do it to hers. Even though it makes the blonde a little bit more yellow. And it doesn't matter if we get it in the background because it's going to be changed anyways. So, that's how that looks. Maybe her, do you want, maybe her lips there. To me, that's what you can adjust your vibrance. You can make it a lot more. You can make it a lot less. I put it on. I keep it on the 50 that you start with, and you hit apply. Mm. To change eye color. It's on my other tutorial. Um, you can have any color. I don't really want to change your eye color unless it's like a greenish, brownish. Which wait, yeah, I don't want to do that. You want to make it look as natural as you possibly can. I don't want to show you guys that right now. I will a different time, or if you watch my other video. And that's your recommend the blemish, the airbrush, boost. Spray tan makes you look kind of weird. Um, teeth whiten, I really recommend that, like here. Let me take it down. You can see your teeth a little, and you just go like that. You go like that, and it makes much a difference. Um, lip tint is okay. Don't use the eye button, the mascara, or the eye tint because it's all fake and it looks bad. Red eye remover works really, really good. And highlights is good in your hair. Say, so, okay, here's blonde. And I do that. And it will change your uh, hair color, but I'm not going to apply that. Um, time for the background. I'm clicking my own. I'm using, I have to open it. Hold on. Libraries, pictures. I'm using like an industrial type background. And as you can see, it's all over her right now. So you want to take your brush size, make it a little bit bigger. And you go over her face. And everything you don't want colored. It takes you a few shots. Like, it's not going to be, mine's not even perfect in the first shot I do it. So I'm going to go back through and fix it up a tad and all that good stuff. Okay. Now, as you can see, it's not perfect. It won't be perfect. Um, the fade is one option you can always fix. See how I hit fade and I changed it to uh, like zero percent fade because fade takes it down, like it makes it lighter and stuff. And that's how it looks on multiply. You can use all these other options like your normal, your add, your darken, difference, hard light, lighten, multiply. It's on overlay, screen, and subtract. This one, I like hard light. 
just because of the way it looks. And I'm going to go through and touch the spots that, oops, that I missed. Make sure you have it on effect, because if not, you'll just do what I did. And to really make the brush size small if you want to get in cracks and stuff. Like you have to be careful because sometimes you can tell that the background was edited in. I edit my backgrounds a lot. Some people don't know, but I think it's pretty easy to tell. Because I don't make my picture perfect unless it's like something I absolutely need. So this is how it turns out. Let me check something. Okay. That's how it turns out. And then when you're done and you like how it looks, you hit apply. And that's basically all you do for backgrounds. Very Sometimes the backgrounds will be harder to do because it has darker things or lighter things. You just go into your effects and you hit tint. And you put on, you hit here. Go to this, you hit white, you hit add, and you bleach out the background as possible, as much as possible, until you can put down the texture and it'll look okay. Um, now if you want to get all like fun with it, like I do, I always uh here. I have another background thing. That I don't know how well it's gonna work. I just play around with it. But that so far is how that looks. You can hit hard light, light, and blah blah blah, all that stuff. I'm gonna see if any looks good. I don't think any of these look good. I said it takes a while. If you really want to go crazy with it, do that. I'm going to try and see if this will look good because I don't know. I do a lot of weird, stupid stuff when I edit. Sometimes I don't even put my edits up because I don't think they look good. Being an editor, you don't have to have Photoshop or anything. Like I said, this is just a basic pick monkey anyone can go on it um through muzzy and you'll get all the uh vip stuff for free yeah i'm not going to have any background on here i'm just going to keep it in the background and that's that with it hold on had some on her face and her ear. Okay, and then that's the that you hit apply. I like it like that. Now for um any other effect you want to do. Sorry. Let's see. Hold on. Sorry. Um. I don't like using half of these because it's like a MySpace type edit. There's dark edges. I advise. I don't know, vintage like things. Or this I can do. Okay, I don't know why it's going up. There, I see. Let me change the size of it. I don't like mine very big. And apply. You can make, you can have frost too, which I'm not going to put, and it's basically the same thing as dark edges. Mm. There's all these other effects, you just have to be sure what you want in a picture to do it. And there's also things in tint, like, this is called smudge. I use this one, just because it puts a little bit of texture to it, and I hit fade a lot. It's on multiply right now. And the original, I'm gonna take it off her face. But that's how that look for a basic. I've, yes, I've done this before for a picture in my room, but that's how that effect looks. Um, 
They always have, like, these specialized ones for, like, winter, Valentine's Day, like, Halloween, since that's basically been the past few holidays. For sweethearts, you can have all these ombre-like ones. Fun effects, really. It's nothing big. I've used this effect. It's called, uh, the hearts or whatever. You can have them glowy. Which makes your picture blurry, and then uber glowy makes it really blurry. I'm hitting on. Yeah. 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 You can't really see on this picture. But that's it. Oh, and here's some text. I use this text stuff for all my simple cuppy cakes, like promotion groups, and all that lovely stuff. Um. I like this one a lot. See, it's like a VIP thing. And then there's Halloween ones. Really fun stuff. I like using... I think I'm going to use that one. And it comes up. I'm going to put her name. No. Center. You can move it wherever you want. And for it to like really jump, I think I'm gonna make it white. I normally only use like black and white lettering, or if it's like a fun photo, I'll use lime green and purple or blue. And that's how you do. You hit this to compress it, and it combines it. And that's basically all for your editing. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you wish. I put some edits up. It takes a few months, but you get the idea. Um, and there you have it. Simple. Hey, I love you guys. Bye.